Welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing you how to create a 3D text. Something like this. And it's very easy. I'm going to be showing you guys 2D and 3D. They both go into 3D. But it's like, make everything in 2D. Then just add 3D and end it. And then make completely in 3D. Each of them have their advantages and disadvantages that we're going to be going over in this video so without further ado let's get straight into it okay so what i did here is i added my little face pretty much picture of me whatever okay wow zooming in great so what i'm doing here is i'm just gonna put it here let's say and i want to add a 3d kind of text and background and all these stuff so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is clean this up and then go here to effects fusion composition drop it on the top here and then press that button when our thing is over it now here we just have nothing this is absolutely nothing so we're just gonna start with a little background drop that in here if it's the first time for you in fusion no worries all we're gonna be doing here is simple stuff okay so we wanted 3d but it doesn't specifically mean that we need 3D. So I'm going to try to show you guys in 2D and then in 3D. So 2D, I'm just going to be like, it's still going to look like 3D, but it's actually going to be 2D. It's weird, but you can see here background. Okay. And then you can just get here a transform. Okay. I'm happy about that. And you see here, the transform, you can't really do too much like you can close it down make it smaller but you can't really pivot it in any 3d way <laughs> okay and then let's say we'd add here a merge and then a text and then delete that extra merge because we don't need that add the text here on the green which is the foreground right here um banana let's say but nah nah Make it yellow, because that's how bananas tend to be. Add some of that. Throw a random font on it, because... Okay, it needs to look correct, though. Come on. No. Okay, fair enough. I don't really care. Now we have that. And this is our simple plane. So this is the easiest way to do it in 2D. And now if you want to move it, okay... Then we're gonna need to just quickly jump into 3D and that's going to be pressing this button. That's sending it into an image plane. We can disconnect that. Then pressing this button. That's, no, oopsie, that was wrong. I need this button. Render out the 3D. And then we're just gonna need some transformer merge. Merge is good enough. And we can just drop it in there. Then we got this guy. And then we can just do here rotation. We can do X, we can do Y, Z is pretty simple, but X and Y actually very useful. And obviously you can scale it up however you like it. So I'm actually gonna go though with the Y this way, okay? So this is the easier way mainly on your computer because it takes up less resources because we did all the work and then we're just dropping it into a 3D plane and then Taking it out of 3D quickly, we're done. Okay, and we can also give the background a color. See? Background, give it a color. If we want to, like, complement it, maybe something like that. That doesn't look too bad. We could get rid of that. Why am I jumping into color all the time? We could get rid of, like, the Y thing. I think that that... Oh, oopsie. No. I meant the X, actually. A bit like that that looks pretty good I think and then just move it over and this is totally acceptable i think at least i think that it looks really good and it's awesome now that's our first way but what if you want to do the whole thing in 3d you're gonna need a lot more you know computer power stronger gpu more ram all those stuff but if you do have that, then let's just go in here. Why am I always doing this? This is hilarious. Um, and let's just 
clean up from the start here everything from the start so how do you do it in full 3d well you'd be starting with this guy image plane 3d then you'd be adding a merge then a text and then here let's just do the render 3d render 3d you, you always need in the 3d space okay now in the merge we're just going to drop it on here and we can see here this all 3d oh it's so scary whatever you move around by pressing on your scroll wheel and then you can sort of like go up down with your scroll wheel and then control scroll wheel up down and then you like move around and whatever so pretty much we got here this guy what we're gonna need to do is um play with this so all i'm gonna do is add our tech so we're gonna write here something we can maybe do banana let's make it much smaller okay and then let's just put it in front now obviously we're gonna need to give it a color so we can actually see it and then let's try to do that the same thing with this guy give it something that resembles the color from before and then I'm just gonna make it smaller and then here this guy I won't be able to just change it cuz look what happens when I go like this it just like oh that does work great but it's not really like, perfectly connected that's because there's a bit of space so we're just gonna want to control zoom in and just stick this guy like right there kind of thing if we want to and then pretty much go here scale the whole thing up ooh okay okay then and then we can play with that word so the Y and let's just see how it looks in a second okay so then this is the first one this is full 3d now there's not really a big difference except maybe the font and how the A's look really weird I think but whatever it's both of them so pretty much though the main fun add to the working in 3d one it's cleaner two what we can do here is add all these weird depth things i have like a video on that i think but there's all these different tricks that you can do it just gives you many more stuff that you can add I'm not really gonna get into that but if you know your 3d stuff it's you can learn also and it's really nice to have those kind of stuff if you guys want here just one more tip I'm, tip, I'm gonna go back in to 2D, our 2D makeshift thing. And all I'm gonna do is, before we get into that image plane, I want to add here a drop shadow, I think. Let's see if I can do that. Drop shadow, okay. I have no idea how this is gonna work. So that's gonna give us a whole drop shadow to like the whole thing. That's pretty cool. You won't be able to see it here because, well, we really stuck into the side there, but that's pretty cool. But what I want to do is try to get on the text. So drop, drop shadow. And yeah, we got the text, a drop shadow. So now you can see it here. We're sort of getting there something. I don't think that that looks so good. So what we're gonna do is go back here into the drop shadow and we can do drop angle I think that it look more realistic a bit something like that that looks pretty good I think nice so this is in 3d 2d obviously you can see 2d is sometimes better 3d is sometimes better but now you know both of them so hope you guys enjoyed and let's just get into the outro well, that was some heck of a video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and well, check out these videos to see them if you like them, whenever. See you guys, bye. Oh, and we're running a giveaway soon, so stay subscribed to get that video. Hello there, welcome to this video. We're gonna be showing you guys Yes, you. How to show...